So <clears throat> we decided to make this with ramen noodles instead of the chow mein. Okay. So here's what the ramen noodle looks like. Comes in a package. Mm -hmm. Take out the spice packet. You don't want that. Right. You don't want the chicken. You don't want the chicken flavor or beef flavor or whatever they have. And it's inexpensive too. And then we great. just kind of break it. You break it into pieces. You don't want it crumbled because Whoa. you want to see some texture in your um, little nest. Okay. And then tell me a little bit about what's in that bowl right there that you're doing. Yes. Getting. Okay. What I'm stirring up, we had to melt this. So we have a fourth of a cup of butter or four tablespoons four tablespoons or a fourth of a cup of marshmallow cream. Okay. Uh, you could use mini marshmallows if you want to, but if you do mini marshmallows, I'd probably do like a half a cup, maybe okay. a cup. And then um, four tablespoons of peanut butter and make sure it's the creamy peanut butter. Okay. Put all that in the microwave, Gosh, melt that's so it. Easy. If you want to add a vanilla, you could add a little bit of vanilla to this or your favorite flavoring. If you want to add chocolate to this, you could add milk Ooh. to chocolate chips. But because our dish, our dessert is pale and pastel. I was going to say, the colors really work. Yes. Um, chocolate would be a little bit heavy for it, unless I had a, an Oreo crust or something like that. Right. Then that would tie it all together. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and pour those in there. Okay. And then if you would bring over that wax paper sheet. Yeah. Because we're stirring it together just like this, coating every little morsel. You know what would be good too? If you took some broken pretzel sticks and Ooh, added to that. That would be great it too. It would give you more texture. And do we add vanilla at all? You in? can. Okay. I'm going to skip it this time. Okay. But you can. You can add whatever flavoring you want. So um, now, normally I would take a spoon, but I've got this little spatula and this will work. You can do it this way or I'm going to show you another easier way that I like better, I think instead of doing it this way. So you kind of put it on a wax piece of paper. Yes. You can do it that way or you can take a little muffin tin and lightly coat it with cooking spray. Whoops. Okay. Wouldn't help if I hit the <laughs> cupcake paper. That's okay. <laughs> so then you can put your mixture right in there. Right in here. And when this begins to set up a little bit, you can form your inner nest, you know, the little mm -hmm. indention. Yes. And put that in the refrigerator. Wonderful. Let it hold up or freeze up or whatever you want to do. And at this Sounds point, so easy. if you want to put your little eggs in there, you can. And then you just got these at the grocery store, a little, yeah, you they're, know. They're Cadbury eggs. And I like those because they're small and they actually look like eggs. Mm -hmm. So this is what you kind of end up with. A little cute nest like cute. that that Love you it. can put on your. Well, cheese. thank you, Liz. I yeah. really appreciate it. This is such a cute dessert. And once we get everything out of the refrigerator from setting, we'll be able to display it all for you. For more party yeah. in a pinch, yes, we'll be right back. And go to my website because all the recipes will be there. Perfect. Thanks, yeah. Liz. Appreciate it. We'll be right back.